I was just thinking this morning or today how God loves it when people come into his manifest presence or we invite him to where we are to listen to him. Our hearts and minds are willing to do and say whatever he asks. It's a way of life. It isn't just a one-time thing. Jesus is Lord. That's the key. And he looks at our hearts. We share our love with him and he shares his love back with us but we need to listen to his response. Walking and talking with him is throughout the day, we stay in his presence. So we start our day off with sharing Jesus, I love you, and we finish our day saying, were you pleased? And as before we go to sleep. Our hearts are to be a dwelling place for him. Pure hearts with the fear of the Lord. So we need to ask with the fear of the Lord. Loving what he loves, and hating what he hates. And when you walk and talk with him, that's what will happen. You will love what he loves and you'll hate what he hates. It's having a hatred for sin, which is the beginning of wisdom. Are we including him in what we listen to? Are we including him what we look at? It's a way of life. And so his desire for his house is love, purity and unity, focusing on him. As we sit around the table with him, I have this picture, not arguing about what he said, but asking him, what did you say? And including him in all our conversations. He loves to be included. So I just pray that your spiritual eyes and ears will be open like never before. And you will walk and talk with him and listen to him and include him in everything that you do. Whether it's doing the dishes, preparing a meal, taking care of the children, or whatever you do, include him. He loves you to be in his presence, but he wants to be invited. Bless you.